we established that one of the exhibits was only marked for identification purposes, correct? Yesterday. Yep. Right. <coughs> Can you describe to the jury what you see there? So this door goes directly out the backyard. So if you were to go through the front door, through the back door, this door would be a straight line um, out the back, out the back. This is with the entrance to the house this way. Um, and this is like a little, um, it's like a little room, probably, I don't know, nine feet by nine feet, it had a freezer in it. But uh, all this stuff was at the base of that. So you could walk around it, but this stuff was just kind of there. This is the... What's that like? What's that mess? I don't want to call it mess, but what is that? Is yeah, it's, it's wood, wood trim, wood molding, other wood materials, basically. This is uh, some sheetrock for, like, bathroom. You put that behind tile or whatever. We've seen this photo, so I just want to show you one last one. Is this what your and show uh, yes it is can you describe it so that's a that's a shell casing um, you can tell the floor is painted blue that's the back porch color you turn it a little bit okay. so in the back and see sorry um, so that's the back porch floor uh, it's painted like a blue color um, and that's the 45 casing that that she that she saw and that I took a picture of Thank you, Matt. And what did you do? I your sister informed you of this. My aunt. Aunt. <laughs> That's fun. Um, I immediately called uh, or called and text Scott Smith and Scott Noiseworthy. Um, I believe Scott may have been. Uh, you were at baseball. Uh, out of town. Uh, Noiseworthy couldn't make it as well, so. At that moment, um, a little frantic, this item needed to be picked up. We weren't going to pick it up or touch it. Um, you know, that projectile Linda picked up, but we didn't want to touch this, so. And did you call anyone over? Um, so I believe Scott and uh, Smith and Noiseworthy called someone from the Christian County Sheriff's Department to come handle the item. Um, Myron Dossett was supposed to come over and, and meet later that day and I don't remember how but Myron ended up there in that moment too. He may have called and said hey are we still good for later. I don't know I don't really recall how that occurred but uh, Myron came over as well. And is that a family friend? So Myron is a, a state representative in that area in Pembroke. He lives in Pembroke. He knew mom and dad. Uh, he knew dad specifically. Um, and so, yeah, he, he came over. You know, Pembroke is seven minutes from edge of town to ed edge of town, right? So he was there pretty quick. He, he may have beat the, the sheriff's department over there. And you handed it over to, or they collected it. law enforcement came over and collected it. They absolutely did. So at this time, it's April 2016. Yep. <coughs> And had anyone um, been arrested or charged? No. So, you know, your parents having been murdered, what are you doing during this time? I'm trying to figure out what to do. There's no, there's no playbook for this, right? Um, I'm asking of law enforcement that they give resources, that they get people, that they give expertise um, to, to figure out what's been done here. Um, we are in a unique and unfortunate situation where we have identified evidence and made sure that authorities have collected it. Um, we asked for Luminol and we asked for them to come back and, and research the house and take it back and you know review it again. Um, it's not a enviable situation to be in to identify a projectile or locate a shell casing that was probably used in the murder of your folks. So we're asking for, for resources and we're asking for attention from law enforcement. And not just 
in West Kentucky. No. Um, I went to anybody who would listen. I went to the head of KSB. I went to the Secretary of Justice. I went to the governor. I went to the Attorney General. I went to anyone who would open a door and listen to say there were three people killed brutally and this needs to be solved. So anyone who would open that door and sit down and talk with me, I went and talked to with my aunt. 